New information into a story we reported last Wednesday involving this overturned SUV on Phillips Highway seen here through Sky 4. Police used a pit maneuver on this SUV to keep two carjacking suspects from getting away. Well, today we learned both suspects are teens. News for Jackson reporter Eric Gavini has been following this investigation. He joins us from downtown where police say the carjacking actually happened. Yeah, Kent, Jacksonville police say that carjacking happened in broad daylight near this downtown intersection of Orange and Ocean Street. Now, the victim told police uh, that he was flagged down by one of the officers. He said that, I mean, one of the suspects. He says that when he stopped, that's when he was approached by the second suspect. And he says it was at that point he had a gun pointed at him. According to this arrest report, right after a 16 and 17 year old held the victim at gunpoint at this downtown intersection and took possession of his SUV, they drove him to an abandoned home on Dixon Street. It's unclear what happened at this location because details were omitted from the arrest report. Then they went around the block and forced him out of the vehicle in this area of Detroit Street before driving off in his SUV. Police say the victim walked to the corner of Detroit and Commonwealth where a pedestrian allowed him to use a cell phone to call 911. Police issued a BOLO or be on the lookout alert for a stolen Hyundai SUV with temporary tags. Three hours later, on the other side of town, a patrol officer located the stolen SUV traveling northwest on Powers Avenue. The officer carefully followed the SUV as it turned onto Phillips Highway, and that's when the officer turned on his emergency lights and siren. Investigators say as the SUV tried to take off, the officer used a pit maneuver to cause the SUV to crash into this grassy median and roll over. Both teens were taken into custody at gunpoint. Given what the police already knew, they were not taking any chances. At the beginning of this also, the not only was a carjacking, but it was an armed carjacking. So we were informed that the, the occupants of the vehicle were possibly armed. Now here's where the story gets even more interesting. Investigators learned that, or at least they were able to find, uh, text messages between the victim and one of the suspects. Of course, the details behind those text messages were redacted uh, from the arrest report. One other note to point out, officers did in fact find a gun at the crash site, which is which they believe to be used uh, during that carjacking. Reporting live downtown, Eric Avignet, Channel 4, The Local Station.